Yo, what's up guys? Um So like I'm back and yeah, so there's a lot of things I want to bring out first and so I took my time on this and it's been a while since I said anything or uploaded for a while so I apologize for that. So I wanted to start off saying like this topic would be something I'd be wanna focus on and just you know, just generally speaking about it and see where this will lead to. Uh, the whole topic for this one would be about, um, I would say, loneliness and, you know, awareness. That will be the topic of this video. So, first of all, right. The whole idea of this is going to be just trying to resolve an issue with the word loneliness and what does the loneliness means to you as an individual. You know, some people say loneliness could be a trouble for some people. Some loneliness people say they don't mind it, they actually feel comfortable. But for those people who do struggle with it and not sure how you see loneliness, you come to the right place. I'm here to explain you some things about loneliness in my point of view and just try to make your brain work a little bit around it and just understand your brain a little bit. There's a lot to take in in loneliness and that's something I want you to understand that you're not alone and you're never going to be alone, okay? There's thousands of other people out there who has the same thought that you might be thinking is I don't want to be alone. You know, as a human, right, we have needs, okay? We have a requirement what we need and don't need. So it happens and sometimes we don't know what to do when we have nobody you know sometimes we go socialize on social media or you know find some people that we want to be friends with uh on discord or play a game and hopefully you'll meet someone that could be particularly your friend those kind of things happen to individual but sometimes you just rather be alone but you don't want to be alone there's also situations like that so Loneliness. Now, like I said, loneliness comes in different forms and how you see it and how you do them. So, okay. Let's start a little bit slowly. Okay. What does loneliness mean to you? Does it make you sad? Does it make you depressed? Disappointed? It comes in many forms. But the one that I think we all can relate on in being alone is feeling hopeless and feeling disconnected from the world and the fact that we can become more clearer around our surroundings as well so the more you become aware of your situation the more difficult it is for you to resolve the problem or instead it might just increase questions like why are you alone like what am i supposed to do like Am I, is it because of what or how I'm doing on saying? Is that why people don't talk to me? You know, there's a reasons why people don't, you know, why people don't communicate with other people. And we usually just try to keep our, our mindset to the point. We always want to get answers to the point, right? So loneliness, right? It's a very complicated for me to explain something like this because it's not something I can just say it's fixable but what i can do is give you a good idea what does mindset loneliness or being alone could mean in in as a positive outcome this is the type of thing i want to try to address to those people who are lonely or you know don't know what to do you know with their with their time or their energy on and they just keep asking themselves questions so okay let's start like this okay Loneliness, it could be a good thing, okay? People who, like yourself and including myself, usually don't know what we do with loneliness in spare time. We usually just overthink things and we come up with conclusions what they could mean. It could be because you're a bad person, it could come up, you know, different scenarios. So, you know, we there's many, many reasons why. So how do we make this as a positive outcome okay so one thing I want you to understand is being alone is good in many situations having people around your life 
can be tiring, stressing, and mentally draining. It can be. And I'm sure you experienced that, and that's probably the reasons why you don't want to communicate with other people. Because you don't know how to manage with those type of people. And that's okay. And I want you to know that's okay. It could mean that those people are not for you. Or it could mean that you just not mentally prepared for those situations. And that's okay. So that's the one positive thing I want you to know and realize is that that is okay. There's nothing wrong with being alone or wanting to be alone. And it, it does not necessarily mean that's a negative impact to what you're trying to do. In fact, that's a good thing because this is well this is what I'm gonna to try to explain to you now is freedom. Okay. Now I know this sounds obvious. Okay. Freedom in being alone. Yes, you can do whatever you want when you're alone. You know, you can do go outside, eat whatever you like, do whatever you like, no one's gonna bother you, no one's gonna tell you what to do, what you shouldn't do. You know, and that's what the key words of say freedom and doing what you want. And that gives you an opening to what you could do in the future. Don't stress out, okay? There's small little bits I can tell you and I can help you with that could help you. That could be a starting point, you know, to not exactly resolve the loneliness or it could give you a positive mindset to being alone because then you can come up a good time, you know, to motivate and start somewhere. This won't work for everyone, this won't apply to everyone included, but this is something I would people who are alone or have not just stressed out, you know, they just tend to stress out and they just start to overthink something. So let's just start from the beginning. First of all, freedom. Second of all, awareness could be a good thing. Okay. And that's how we become aware of our situations when you understand your position. Many people don't understand other people's position, including themselves, when they're involved with so much people. Because, you know, when you're alone, you become more aware of your situation. But when you're with people, and the more you're with people, you start to become less aware of what's going on. And, and focusing on, on what's happening, rather than awareness around you, you know? So, awareness could be a good thing and a bad thing, in a way. So, you got to have to understand that being aware could mean situations where you don't know how to resolve it so what do you do when you're too aware of those situations okay first of all ask yourself very simple question no complex something that you can like take like the way i would um i would um put it is get a piece of paper and put one list of rows and one list of cons so for example the question could be like are those people for me? Like, oh, what are the bros being with friends for those people? And what's the cons being with those people? Make a small list of what's good and bad. Isn't it? I know it sounds very, you know, obvious. Like, why, why would I do that? Like, that's not something I would do. It sounds very boring. It sounds very, you know, not ideal to fix. But it's a starting point, And that's the point of it. There's no easy rounds on how to resolve a problem or your loneliness. The more you analyze what's good for you and what's bad for you, the more easier you become and to, to understand that you're comfortable and and instead of overreacting of situations that you feel you're doing wrong, you come up with conclusion by looking at a piece of paper and seeing that's why I'm like that, this is why I'm not like that. So it becomes easy, and it's okay to write selfish things, you know, sometimes you might want to write, I don't like those people because those people are not for me. That's okay. There's billions of people out there that might not be for you. I had friends like that who I thought were my friends, but it turns out to be not my friends. And that's okay to be like that, okay? Do not force yourself into involving in a group where you don't feel comfortable. Forcing yourself to be in part of the group because you want to feel attention or you want to feel human interaction do not force it and that's what i want you to understand as well 
okay it's okay to go at your pace look at the piece of paper and see what's good for that situation questions about your surroundings could be also a positive thing but also you can write in what's good about being alone it's another great idea because then you can write in what you could do being alone and what you can't do when you're alone you know there's a way to invest your time in your starting point so there's also a situation where you feel unsure how to escape those situations so let's say you're in a friends or you're already in friends but you don't want to be with those friends you know and sometimes we have a very hard situation where we want to feel disconnected or in a situation where we want to be alone again nothing wrong with that it just means you prefer to be in that situation where you rather feel more comfortable rather than not being comfortable or forcing the situation to be in there to keep it intact friends who are understanding and caring will understand your position and that's where you come up to be very aware of the people who you're dealing with so take advantage of your awareness when you deal with those type of people in your life and if you're in a situation where you don't have friends don't have fear okay like i said you can invest your time the way you feel more comfortable with and no one is telling you how you should do in fact you'll find it more easier how to deal with your problem than dealing with people who is already involved dealing with people who you're not sure how they're gonna interact with you or how they're gonna deal with your situation or your loneliness or want to be alone is a very hard thing to either escape or take part in but being alone can be a good thing and it's okay to invest your time in being alone too one thing i have to tell you to be careful is that being alone is dangerous because you put it in your situation where if you don't invest your time properly being alone you're not doing something right that causes you to lose more time in doing pointless things and not thinking what's best for you and so in other words you're doing something that can mentally make you unstable and harder for you and then you'll be looking for attention and then you're unsure what to do so think very carefully what you want to do on second side and so we kind of got the idea now the starting point okay like uh, that's the point of the loneliness and how to manage it don't have fear in being alone take advantage of the loneliness in my opinion it could be a good thing and a bad thing it can mentally make you unstable or it can make you unmentally stable well it could be both you know what i'm saying so don't stress out okay i want you to know that don't stress out being alone don't stress out in people there's people out there who do care about you and there are people out there who don't care about you those people exist and i want you to have awareness if there's people out there that does not give you what you want simply focus on yourself look at yourself in the mirror know yourself you're a good person and if you have awareness of who you are and the situations that you feel like you may have been in the wrong position it's okay things like that happen i myself feel like i'm a bad person at times because i don't know how to interact with certain people and i feel like if i talk to those people only those time when i feel comfortable then it makes me feel selfish but that's okay people out there who's understanding and long distance um long distance friendship it can be hard to manage at times because you know time zones you know and people's lives also be happening so not everyone not everyone has time for everyone okay so that's what i kind of want to bring out in the table okay so now we kind of got the idea what are bros and cons being loneliness let's get to the point okay the second step right so second step you gotta have to ask well not necessarily ask yourself but make a use of it ask yourself okay i'm lonely i'm not doing my best 
you know, ask you, talk to yourself, it's fine to talk to yourself, you know, I do this all the time, I even do it on card games where I, you know, pick a creature or spells and I just talk to myself to see which works best, but also doing it in real life could help you too, to understand, in your mindset you might start overthinking, so talking to yourself could come in easier, you know, so, Ask yourself, what could you invest your time being alone? There's ways to improve yourself, and there's always a way to invest yourself in a bit of situation. You know, there's many, many ways you can do this, and the only, th I think the biggest problem for some people they do have is motivation. And, which, I will talk about motivation in the next video, which will be my next topic. But for now, uh, I'm gonna just focus on straight to the point how to invest your time. If you have problems with the motivation, I will do that in another video and I'll talk more, more in investing my time on a, on, a, on a keyword motivation. But for now, we're dealing on your self-image and the loneliness because that impacts yourself and you always overthink things for yourself rather than how to da deal with it, you know, and you start to be more depressed and you have nowhere to lead. So, second step is, you understand where your position is, you understand what's the good things have been, the bad things have been alone, and you understand what you need to do. Well, that's the second step. So, the second step is, what do you do with that loneliness? How do you take advantage of that loneliness? So, for the sake of this, have motivation. Just let's say you do have motivation. If you don't, let's leave it out for that. But let's just hope that you do have motivation because since you already started with a piece of paper or, you know, talked about pros and cons, we can now go to the second step, which I would highly suggest just take your time on it, okay? Alright? We got this. We got this, alright? We, we're already doing far so, we're doing so good. So far, so good, okay? We're doing good. So, right. So now, what do you do investing your time being lonely? Okay, there's a ways to go around into investing how to get better of the loneliness. How do you take advantage of it? So, if I gave you an example, what do I do in my time when I'm alone? I tend to invest my time in video games and making pages, you know, post memes, you know. This is my time investing, you know. I don't mind being alone because it means I can spend more time into doing what I believe that keeps me up my toes, you know. If it is the back of your mind saying, I don't want to be alone, find the reason to not, uh, to be alone instead, okay. I know it sounds kind of twisted mindset, but finding a ways to wanting to be alone and focusing on something particular, like a project, could help you into understanding your position more and more and more. The more you invest in that particular thing that could help you, could make your life just a little bit easier, and make you feel like there's a purpose being alone, okay? Take advantage of loneliness, and take advantage of having that awareness many people do not understand how advantage of having awareness and they abuse not abuse my apologies no not abuse but like they take it as a negative thing you know having awareness could be a very dangerous thing and if you're not aware of your loneliness you don't know where to go with it take away awareness advantage of it there's many ways you can come up with and there's ways to invest your time in there's maybe stuff that you could start making maybe in art maybe make your own community where the people are involved little group of people that will join and support you can always come in handy i forgot i myself started making a meme page you know that's how i started and look at me i've been working as meme page for three years all by myself and i reached over 200k followers okay for you it could be the same it just depends how you invest your time being alone i did that all on my own without anyone's help and it could be the same with you okay it could be anything and the fact that you could reach to that pointed level, it, it doesn't have to be in three years, it could be in months, depending on what project it is. It depends how you invest your time on. You could start making art, you can start maybe getting better at competitive game, maybe research, um, maybe, you know, you'd start cooking, or, you know, you could start thinking about becoming someone that you in inspired to be, you know, like a philosopher. You know, I love philosophers, and I tend to read a lot of, not read a lot of books of philosophers, but like, 
look up to philosophers on YouTube like um like oh what's his name? Basically I I'll come up um when I remember but basically many philosophers that I read up and all come up with their advices and that's how I've been in inspired to make videos like this. This is how I'm investing my time in doing this and helping you guys out and myself as well. So then in the future if you need to rewatch this you can always have answers in here. So yeah. That's kind of the second step. I'm sorry if this sounds very repeatable. I'm sorry if this sounds very like a lot of information to take in. I'm just being a bit repetitive. Um, but I hope I have kind of like the clear idea of what I'm saying about loneliness. So invest your time in what you feel comfortable with. Take advantage of loneliness. Don't feel you need people as an accomplishment or something that you feel like you need to talk to someone about. If you need to talk to someone about there's ways to get around it, but you don't necessarily need to force yourself to feel that's what you need. Sometimes people do not have any ideas how strong being alone can take be uh, like advantage. But also it could be a bad thing. It just depends how you use the loneliness and how you, you invest your time. You will meet people in the future and you will grow. It just takes courage and it takes a lot of mo like time to invest in too. It's not that simple, in especially if you're antisocial. Uh, anti okay, so don't have shame in being who you are and don't overthink. I know it's not easy to over not overthink, but you know, just invest your time what you feel comfortable. Your brain tricks you into thinking you're a bad person and making you feel like you are horrible. There's a brain like that in the cell that does that job for you and that could be anxiety or paranoia. There is a brain function like that but you can work it around it if you just take advantage of it. Do it on purpose on those meaning. Give yourself a reason to do it. Like a solid reason that can convince you to do it. Always come up with a reason and make a list of pros and cons. Try it. Just try it. It's a stop. It's a small step to get used to the loneliness. And it's a good step to invest your time in to get used to it. The more you invest your time in being alone and take my suggestions and start doing something like learn a new hobby, maybe chess. I would recommend chess. If you never played chess, I would highly recommend you playing chess. How I go into chess, I start watching streaming XQC. He played chess and it got me into it. I'm actually all over the fucking chess right now. I'm kind of bad at it. I don't even have strategy. But you know what? I'm having fun. And I met some friends who like to play chess. We had a blast. You know, and I have a lot of good people. Take your time in investing. And I'm, trust me on this. You will meet people if you invest in the right environment. In the right time. Take advantage of loneliness. It will come in naturally if you know what you're doing with that time. Don't overthink it, it will never come, it will just come circle and you'll just not escape from it. I hope this advice helps you just a little bit. It's not much, but because there's a lot of motivation to do this, but hopefully the next video in the future, I don't know when, I'll find the keywords, what I'm trying to say about the motivation, but hopefully this video will help you and I hope that you understand your position too. You know, you, you, you kind of get what I'm saying. Don't take shame in who you are and be proud of being, you know, be proud of being antisocial. Okay, not everyone is alone, okay? And some people don't have time alone, you know? So, gotta remember that. But if you have time being alone, take advantage of it, that's what I'm trying to say. Many out there people, audience, uh, struggle with being alone, but I hope this is the first step for you to understand that you'll be okay and I promise you you'll be okay if you just hear my little advice out little advices always come in handy just try it's the very first step I'm not a psychologist I'm not a doctor but if there's a very serious situation where you're antisocial and at, at the very limit my only advice would be go to the doctors and do your best to find the right medicine for you or get a psychologist to talk to my advice is only for those people who are willing to try something in order to get better. 
that's my whole point of this video and in the future <sighs> I hope this helps a little bit this is my advice this is my hobby and this is what I like to do and in the future if you like to support me please subscribe leave a like and that's all I can ask for you know be who you are and be proud who you are not everyone is willing to be in a situation with people trust me on that okay anyway you're doing good I'm doing good we're both good 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 all right well after all thank you for watching and thanks for watching good luck in the next video